Hi, I'm Rabina. I am one half of the Mummy and the Minx. And on our blog, we use a lot of printables. And I was going to show you today how I use pages to create those printables. One of the things we're talking about on our blog are passions and talents and sharing those. And being a bit of a geek, I kind of love pages. So I'm going to share that value with you today and I hope you can get something out of it. So I'm going to create my document in pages and I'm going to choose a landscape format. What I'm going to create is a weekly schedule and when I'm dealing with creating documents I like to be able to see most of the page so I'm just going to zoom out so that I can have a look at exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to build this schedule by using a number of shapes and other objects. And the shape I'm going to use is this rounded rectangle Put it about there, it doesn't really matter. Just going to adjust the size to allow for about five of them to fit on the screen. I'm going to change this fill to nothing. And I think this border is a bit boring. I can choose any one of these borders here and I'm going to choose the dots. And I'm going to make them just a little bit thicker at 1.5. Now I would like the colour of this to reflect my sight. So I'm going to go to the colour picker here, I'm going to go to show colours and I'm going to use this magnifying tool here. I'm going to pop over to my site just here and I'm going to, there we go, grab the colour. I'm looking here at my colour palettes and I'm looking at my web safe colours. So this is a really easy way to find out the hex number of a particular colour that you might like, that you may like to use on your site. Okay, so this is going to be the container for my weekly schedule. I'm going to bring in the names of the week. I'm going to bring this to free serif, make it a little bit bigger. Now a really easy trick to make text bigger and smaller using pages is you hold down the command and the plus key to make it bigger and to make it smaller the command and the minus key. And I liked that colour we use. I'm just going to grab it again. It's pretty close, it's not the same, but that's fine. I'm also going to use the text inspector here just to space out my lettering. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to bring that up there. Now I'm going to create a text box so that people can write in here. So another text box. I'm just going to provide some dots for people to write on. Just copying that a couple of times. I'm going to resize it so that it'll be nicely in our text box. Again, I'm going to want a pinky colour. And that's a little close together, so I am just going to change the line spacing over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm wanting to make sure it's floating and that it has no wrap. Bring it into here. Lovely. Okay, I might like to add a little more colour, so I'm actually going to just expand this to be in there. I want this to be centered both vertically and horizontally. And I'm actually going to fill this with a nice light grey. I think that might look nice. Okay. All right. Now that I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to select all the objects by choosing Control A. And then I'm going to group them together. So I'm going to go to Arrange Group. Okay. And now I'm going to copy that four more times so that we have our weekly list. I'm going to bring this one over here. I'm going to select them all again. I'm going to go to arrange distribute objects horizontally and I'm going to go right click align objects top and I'm going to go in here and so now you have a pretty cute looking weekly schedule. 
I'm going to export that to PDF. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open that schedule in preview. Okay, so this is now opened up in preview. I just dragged and dropped that schedule into the preview program. And I'm going to export that as an image. What that is going to allow me to do is create an image that I can use on my site, which I then may also want to use in Pinterest or somewhere else like that. If you were trying to pin a PDF, it's not going to show an image. So now I have created both a PDF and an image using my Mac.